Daily Motor, and welcome to the live drive of the 2022 Chevrolet Bolt EUV. For the next hour or so, we're going to head out, drive Chevy's electric small crossover, if you will, and everything we know and see, answer your questions importantly, and hopefully have some fun while doing it. Let us know if you're in the chat. I already saw a few of you in there, and we're going to do a little bit of and then get all and everything so we'd like to know if you are in without further ado the chevy bolt i've always been a decent fan of the bolt because when it first came out in 2007 it wasn't great it didn't look spectacular but it really pushed the industry and and kind of was willing to put their foot out and their neck out and try it in the automotive electric and sphere um in a different way than Tesla, if you will. So Chevy came out well over 200 miles of range, a decent affordable price. The only problem is it just didn't look that great. Some people didn't care for the very tight seats and the cheap interior materials, but I didn't mind it. I still think it's a decent little car. So now Chevy's trying to go a little bit more aggressive, aggro, a little bit more practical as well with this EUV model. They still make the normal Bolt, but then the EUV is probably like extended utility vehicle or some silly acronym that Chevy felt like using electric utility vehicles probably more likely and it's a little bit larger technically a little bit less cargo space if you count the the height of the vehicle but it's more space in the second row a little bit less range than the normal bolt but still quite usable so let's get on into everything we've got Alyssa behind the camera right now so she'll be tuning in and answering chats this is the premier model of the Bolt EUV, which means it's top dog. You also get an LT model at the bottom. For me, I would say even though the LT model feels quite a bit cheaper, I have driven one of those briefly, I'd say you still go for the LT because while this does have some nice features, once you start pushing about $40,000, you get into some other electric vehicles with key elements that are better than the Bolt that we'll talk about a little bit. Most importantly is charging speed for uh, level three DC fast charging. This gets capped out at 50 kilowatts compared to a lot of competition that'll go up to 250, 350, quite a lot more. But we'll talk about that more from behind the vehicle. What do you guys think of the looks? What do you think of the looks? Yes. A lot larger than what I remember looking like. So it makes sense that you said that this is an entirely different kind of bolt, the EUV. Yes. So yeah, I think it looks a little bit more like SUV size. It's still right. going to be a compact or maybe even a compact. But yeah, and some of the futuristic styling that uh, a lot of EVs are going with now with paneling in the front where the grill would be. I think they did a cool job with that. That is kind of um, and a lot of headlights now, you're seeing this on, I think it's the Ford Escape. The headlights are just like a oh, swoop. Oh, kind of swoop back. It's like a brush stroke. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think it looks bad. Me. I just don't like how aggressive it looks. They made it look quite aggressive. Yeah, like yeah. it's, it's, it should just be a nice, calm yeah. car. Like it doesn't need to look like it wants to bite your head off, but it's almost like they overcompensated for the first gen Bolt. And the other thing is someone at Chevy Design has been making everything look all robotic and angry and aggro and angsty. And ever since the new redesign of the, the facelifted Camaro, I've, I've pretty much not been a fan of anything Chevy's come out with looks wise since then. And that's including the Corvette. I think the Corvette looks um, cool, but not pretty. They could have done. Like a bug. Yeah. Yeah. It yep. looks like a, like a grasshopper. The rear is a little bit more attractive. You see some smokiness to the taillights. A little I bit more generic, like I think. Down back here. Yeah. And it's interesting too because if you look at it straight on, it's doing some symmetry things, which would technically, I think, make people uh, feel a little bit more comfortable with the look. Okay. Because you've got a big line here, a big line here, and a big line here. So it kind of breaks it up into different mm. sections that are just aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Sure. Yeah. So, I, yeah, I th that's pretty. Got Kinda a nice. blacked out Chevy bow tie badge in front and back and inside. Is it a power lift gate? No, okay, no, I like not. that. You, oh, yeah, you hate the power lift. I love it. Yeah, them. I don't really like I power love, lift gates. This is not a lot of space. Mm -mm. Wow, it's also kind of a high. It's look. very high. Yeah, let's yeah. look. Alyssa's about five foot one, and it's about up to your hips. Just below my hips. Yeah, so yeah. if you were lifting 
dog food in there or something or, or a stroller it would be a heave. Oh, a stroller would be really frustrating. Yeah. Any kind of grocery bags that are really heavy full of cans. I will the bolt has this feature floor. So you can either have a nice flat surface or something out. You can either use that as a cubby, Whoa. very large, or drop that down and then it kind of functions right there as, as a deep. Does it also lay flat? Or is it? I think it does. Well, yes. Yeah, you're right. We well, you can go both ways. Flat like that, or you can have it angled up to seat compartment. Okay. Yep, yep. Really? Yeah. And what do you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's actually really cool because I would probably just have it flat and always put the groceries down there. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. pretty cool. Scoot yeah. on up. It's not fantastic. And we'll try to see if it's a little better over by the airport. We'll do some back seat uh, evaluation, a little more interior stuff then as well. That's an unnecessary sound there. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That would get old so fast. <laughs> I'm sure you can turn it off. Yeah. It was kind of neat though because I was like, what was that? It does have cold seats, but we're going to turn them off because they're noisy. Let's have some air going here. All right, who do we got in the comments? Sun video Chevy C. Yeah, I don't know. And 20, we've already got 23 cords lined up. Oh, so, that's pretty cool. yeah, uh, but if there's something specifically you'd like to see on it, let us know. There can't be too many things that they would change. Yeah, so? no, I, I mean, the main change for 23 is the Z06 model coming out, which I saw a Z06 driving. And it was funny because I saw the C8 coming up, and I know our signal's not too great right now. I saw the C8 coming up, and I was like, ah, look at the C8. It's, just, it's not aging very well. And then I heard it drive by, and the engine was not the same. And I was like, oh, that's a Z06. That's neat. Yeah. This is an EV, not a PHEV, not Correct. a plug-in. Right, full electric vehicle. Say hello to Joey, Joey Finley. Hey, Joey. And Glad to have you on. Yes, sir, A. Hello, yes, sir. Says, hello, friends. Hello. Youth Codex says, it looks like the Chevy Trax or Buick Encore, but the EUV version. Yeah, I can kind of see what uh, you mean by that one. I definitely see a Buick Encore in this. Yeah? Yeah. Those really tiny Buicks that are like, that's not an SUV. <laughs> he also says uh, Toyota does the same thing with the RAV4 and I don't know what the thing that Toyota does what do you mean? it must have been yeah, something we referred to yeah. maybe the styling or something when we were yeah. talking about that is Yasir Yas? I don't think so okay because he says hey I'll oh maybe Hello. it is but I am let it. us know if you if you expanded upon your name yes yes Youth Codex also said, and Honda uh, just did that with the CRV for whatever reason. I don't know why my dad wagon has to look aggressive, but all right. That's what they're talking about, the aggro looks. The aggro, yeah. Yeah. Oh, he did update a thing. Oh, it is Yas. It is Yas. Oh, hey, Yas. Yas. Okay. Uh, Youth Codex also says, I love power lift gate and I changed my mind. I used to hate them so much, but with kids, it's a godsend. <laughs> I, I could see that, yeah. yeah. Especially closing it if your arms are full and everything. And the power lift gates that you can kick under are pretty nice. Yeah. A day in the life of Tim. And is Super Cruise good? Super Cruise is good. We will try to demo it some today. I know in the truck drive we did, we demoed it, but it, um, I think the, the, the signal wasn't too good or something. There are all sorts of things with that drive. <laughs> but um, we, you have to be on an approved highway to do it. So we'll try to we'll try to sneak some Super Cruising in later. Yeah. Are we caught up? Yes, we are caught up. Cool. Does it seem to be running okay? I was just about to say yes, and then I looked at the screen, and it was very pixely. Man. So we'll see. It's, it, lo it looks like it comes and goes, really. Okay. I'm trying out uh, running it through my phone hotspot rather than the portable hotspot because, for some really technical reasons, 
regarding uh, the network and media streaming and stuff. And I was thinking that should be better, but it doesn't seem to be doesn't seem to be better. It's a tough uh, tough setup, man. Yeah. Live streaming while you're moving around real fast. Right. Yeah. Rodrigo says... Are you live? Yeah. The Bronco Raptor is starting to make its way into the press fleet, so I need to try to get us one of those. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. What does that look like? Um, like someone bought a Bronco, but their insecurities were still too strong, so they had to make it more aggro. And it's like wider and taller and looks giant. I, maybe they're trying to like bring in the truly aggressive off-roading looking of like the Broncos from the 80s and the 90s. It's a lot more than that. It's more than that? Oh yeah. Like you remember the Raptor? Yeah. It's like that but with a Bronco. That's ridiculous. I know. Wow. Um, Bump. Bump. Neat. Sunjib says, uh, oh it's asking for a 22 GMC Yukon AT4. Ooh yeah that'd be a cool one. We'll try to get one of those. Cool. Big car to review. Pittsburgh man says hello. Hey, Pittsburgh man. I'm glad you could make this one. Says just dropping by while I get ready to go out. Ah, uh, ooh, you got a date? On a Tuesday? Well, it's when the club goes up. Yep, that's right. It's going up. Is that uh -huh. what it is? Yeah. I didn't really listen to that song that much. No? no. It's a silly song. Yeah, it's okay. There is no shade over here. No. Okay. That's okay. We don't come here for the shade, come here for the signal. This seems to be okay. NC Styles is back. Hey, NC hey, Styles. Man. Glad to have you on. Yeah, sorry we haven't been doing a whole ton of live streaming. We've just been busy beavers getting married yeah. and um, working on uh, businesses and everything. So, for sure. Yeah. yeah. Sanjip says, thank you, Daily Motor. You're welcome. You're welcome. Let's take a little look around the interior. Maybe I'll try turning the car around so hopefully it comes up my camera a little bit better. Mm -hmm. Lots oh, of shadows. Pittsburgh Man is going out for some calamari with the girlfriend. Ooh, nice. Fun. Good. Date night. She get her some flowers, man. When's the last time you got her flowers? If the answer's over like three weeks, she get her some flowers. The only reason I haven't gotten a list of flowers in a while is because she's got flowers at home. They're in the garden. They gotta stay out there. They feed the bees. I don't have any flowers inside the house. Just some of the ones from the wedding. I think you have a little bouquet in the living room. Yeah, they're dried. Okay. They're going to live forever. <laughs> yeah. No, I do plan on getting Alyssa some flowers soon. I was just about to say, you're giving him advice and yet you don't follow your... <laughs> I've been busy, man. Yeah. It's a Elantra hybrid, Joey is asking. I think the signal tanked again. Man, why? I don't know. Thoughts on the 23 Elantra, you said? Hybrid. Do you want to know the hotspot with me? Um, we can even switch if we wanted to. I think it's, I mean, the launcher hybrid's good. Yeah? yeah? Okay. I'd probably give an insight. It's pretty good. It's, it's just middle of the road all right. not impressive. Yeah. yeah, I just don't really like the styling. I guess it's got another one of those cars that's just like all aggressive. Huh, interesting. Small cars that are made to look aggressive just kind of look like they're like overcompensating. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. All right. Do you want to go outside? Or do I you want to drive I just, around? I just kind of like to go somewhere where it's, the signal's better. I don't, know, right. I don't know if we can do anything about that, but um, just doesn't doesn't seem to uh, want to really jump up. It was good there for a second. Was it? Yeah. I looked at it and it was just barely in the green. Right. Can I still ask you some comments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. uh, Tim asks, do you think it's worth paying $100, $100 to upgrade my CX-5 CX GTS, GT's headlights so Matrix works? CX-5, you said? CX-5 GTs. Um, yeah, I think so. hundred bucks seems worth it. Okay, cool. Yeah, because I like having the, the swivelies. I mean, if you paid for the whole car to have that, you might as well, uh, might as well pay to get it working properly. Yeah. Parker Harless says, thank you for, for playing Corey Wong. 
<laughs> on the member only drives. He's one of my favorite guitarists. You're welcome. Yeah, that was cool. super catchy. I like having that song. Um, yeah, about it. And at uh, uh, Wolfpack. So, yeah, oh, that's that was cool. cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very catchy song. Mother, father. I. It's like it got up to like 1600 and then dropped right back down. So yeah, I don't know why it goes in and out like that. Yeah, I don't know either. That's just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Hmm. More comments? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Pittsburgh man. A whole flurry. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Probably like the more even. Because she's into it. This is, and this is that. I can probably. Yeah. My partner are looking at getting one for commuting long distance. Getting one of these? The 23 Elantra Hybrid. Oh. Honestly, if you're doing a lot of commuting long distance, the hybrid, I mean, it's not going to pose you that many advantages. Yeah, it might be a motor that might be slightly more efficient at highway speeds than a car, but whatever uh, premiums you have to pay for the hybrid model, probably going to get washed out. Like, you're going to pay more to get the hybrid model versus just a base, and so your little bit of savings isn't going to weigh that out. I recommend hybrids for people doing more city type driving. So if you're going to do a lot of that too, just a lot of miles in general, then I say go for it. But um, if it's mostly highway commuting, mm -hmm. get yourself like a 2.5 liter Camry or just the base Elantra or something. Yeah. Here's another question actually along that same, I don't know, vein. vein. And you might have already answered it, but I'm going to ask it anyways. Rodrigo is asking if you think this kind of EV car is more efficient than hybrid models despite the weight of batteries and necessity, constant recharger, and restrictions of infrastructure. It really depends on how you define efficient. For most people, if you're talking about cost, for most people it costs less to, quote, fill up a vehicle on electricity than would a comparable vehicle on gasoline. Now, part of the reason it is more energy efficient to drive an electric vehicle is two things. One, for a gasoline internal combustion motor, you're only about 40% on a really good motor from taking the energy that's in gasoline and converting it into forward momentum. A lot of your energy, in fact, a majority of it's lost in heat. So from an energy, from, from a true efficiency perspective, taking a unit of energy, uh, something that's stored energy, and putting it, letting it propel you down the road, gas motors are not very efficient. Electric motors are much, much more efficient in taking the chemical potential energy in a battery and using it to convert it into kinetic energy moving you down the road. When it to slow the vehicle down, you can convert some of that kinetic energy back into electric energy, uh, chemical energy technically, as you slow down through regenerative braking using the electric motor. You can't do that a, with the uh, gas car, again, you're just going to be turning it into heat using the brake pads. So an electric vehicle is much, much more efficient from an energy perspective. Now, how much it costs to get that energy varies. I mean, gasoline is pretty darn cheap for us here in America comparatively, but if you're getting your energy from a fairly af uh, affordable source, a battery could be much, much cheaper or just a little bit cheaper. Hopefully that answers, and hopefully the signal is good enough through all that. I'm. And it seems. It's, it's okay. Wow. I like, know. <laughs> you just saw that, right? Yeah. I just pointed at the signal screen. Mm -hmm. yeah, and sounds. it just. It's so it's fluctuating. Mm -hmm. I'm watching. Cool. Yeah. Um, Yas is asking what the main differences are between the LT and Premier trims. When I drove an LT, it. I got in, it felt like a rental car, and I know the sunshine's not fantastic right now for y'all seeing the interior of this vehicle, but I, a lot of things felt cheap, looked cheap, I was not a fan of it. This one, being the Premier, looks better, it feels nicer, You, yeah, you're not going to mistake yourself for being in a Mercedes or even a Mazda, but I don't really have any complaints. This is decently soft, this is soft. Uh, the, everything, I mean, if it's it's a lot of plastics, but it looks decent, and the the seats are kind of, I know they're going to look black on camera, but it's a dark, dark 
blue. Navy blue. Yeah, navy blue with some lighter blue cross stitching. That looks nice. They're heated and cooled. The things you touch regularly are not too bad. The volume knob, again, feels kind of cheap, but it's functional. For me, though, I would get an LT because the whole point of getting a Bolt is for it to be cheap, I guess. Mm. I mean, there are nicer options out there. The Kia EV6 is a much nicer car, but you're going to pay more for it. So it's like, once you start cresting and getting close to that EV6 price point, then it's like, well, I would just pay them extra money and get the Kia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. And from a feature standpoint, the LT doesn't have Super Cruise. I don't think you can get the bows in the LT. So a lot fewer features. But again, are you looking for just a, a semi-affordable city commuter EV type vehicle? Or do you want super affordable? Mm -hmm. And for me, I would want super affordable. Like just get me the cheapest electric vehicle I can get. Yeah. It is really nice though because there are EVs out there and a lot of them that are kind of offering the same range and luxury status uh, that are kind of expensive, mm -hmm. cresting $70,000 and, and above now. Yeah. Um, so it's nice to be able to have EV options for someone that's like, I don't want to break my wallet. I just want to be more fuel efficient. Mm -hmm. um, and feel better about it so yeah that is a good point i mean i could see somebody like Alyssa who does a lot of driving but it's fairly all local mostly yeah. under 100 miles wanting a vehicle that's got heated and cooled seats decent navigation a decent sound system super cruise for commuting on the highway and this allows you to do that with electric and be around forty thousand yeah. dollars so i could i can see it yeah so i think someone that's like i'm i'm okay with you know, the different kind of materials not feeling so premier mm -hmm. uh, so that I can have a, a better price. That's yeah. something that makes me feel better. So, yeah, yeah that's I get fair. it. I think it's filling a, a niche. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, Pittsburgh Man says 32K subs. Getting up there. Remember when the channel first started at two to 3,000? Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Pittsburgh Man. I, I still think you are the, the longest uh, longest subscriber and longest or, or um, member, definitely. Mm -hmm. And I did want to ask also, I'm going to talk about it a little bit more on the live drive, but if you all saw the video on Monday, kind of made the announcement to start breaking up sound tests and fuel economy testing into two different channels and have three channels total, one for the reviews, the lives, the podcasts, everything, one for the sound and infotainment stuff, and one for testing, both fuel economy and performance testing. And there are a few different reasons behind that one being allowing people to kind of just find like if they only care about one type of video only watching those one type of video and allowing youtube to better promote those types of videos to people some people though seem to think that that's going to make it more confusing break things up more and so i'd just be curious to hear some of your thoughts uh especially people like pittsburgh man yas um people have been around for a while kind of mm -hmm. I mean, for me, I, I try to think of some of my big channels that I watch, and if they did a similar thing, I would just subscribe to both, and I'd be fine. Um, so I don't think, I don't, I think in the long term, it won't be like a like a tough thing for people. Mm -hmm. I could see some potential downsides, um, but yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to get your all thoughts. Neat. Ooh, also, mm -hmm. uh, Joey says heads up, send a donation through the cash app. Oh, sweet. Thanks, Joey. Thank I'll you. Check that out. Nice. I'll have to get the Cash App installed on your phone so you see the notification. That yeah, would that smart. would be helpful. <laughs> here, like Since a year I am after. Right. Helping you here. That's mm -hmm. cool. Uh, Sunjib is asking for a video on Ford F-150 Power Boost Hybrid 22 model. Um, yeah, again, I don't think anything would really have changed for 22. We do have some on the 21, I believe. In fact, there was a fun video we did where Alyssa pretended fun. to uh, pretended to run out of electricity in our Tesla, and then I quote-unquote saved her by plugging into the back of the truck. Mm -hmm. So there is that. But yeah. if we get a 22, we'll do some videos. Cool. Uh, Makisa's asking what uh, range the EV provides. 247 miles for this bolt with this spec. Yep, and I think I saw Inside EVs tested the highway, pretty much the same the test we're going to do, but you got about 230 miles on the highway. Okay. Yep. But let's talk about that real fast before we get to the rest of the comments. The biggest downside of the bolt for me mm. is that it only provides up to 50 kilowatt fast charging, 
compared to a five to seven times that in a lot of other electric vehicles. And a perfect example of why that's frustrating is we're heading out to Alyssa's parents tomorrow night for dinner. It'll be about a 280 mile round trip. And we've done it in the Tesla, we've done it in an i4, and we've done that in a Mach-E. And for all of those three cars, yeah, none of them could make it completely round trip the whole 280 miles, but it's sort of like we go there, we eat dinner, we leave, and about halfway through the trip back or so, we swing off, it's like 10, 15 minutes of charging, we might use the bathroom, might just look at some memes on our phone, mm -hmm. and then continue on. If we were to do that same trip in this car, it'd be about 50 minutes of charging. And, I mean, that's to some people, maybe that sounds like, eh, if I gotta stop at all, you know, it's not a big deal. To me, that's like, that's like a no-go. We're gonna take the <laughs> Maverick instead. Yeah. Because 50 minutes just to get that extra, we only need like 25% or so, 25, maybe it's like 30% to get back. I guess it's probably a little bit more than that. We could probably squeeze it down to like 40 minutes, but that's frustrating to me. And, and we do uh, we do road trips in our cars. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's kind of like if we're gonna get an electric vehicle that can't road trip well, we might as well just get something really cheap like Get you a mini or a smart car or like a, a well, base baseball. At something, that point, you know? I mean, the mini only gets what 16 miles of range compared to the 240. No, 100, 100 miles of range. It gets 100 miles of range. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's still probably going to be more expensive. Minis are expensive. To it starts at this. like 30. It does. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm thinking of that other BMW. Maybe. Or the plug-in hybrid, maybe. I'm thinking of plug-in hybrids. Yeah. I'm thinking of it because I researched plug-in hybrids. Sure. Yeah, because I was like, well, if I want to go see my parents, I need gas. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to spend my gas when I'm just working. So, right. Yeah, yeah plug-in hybrids definitely provide something yeah, as well. Yeah, you're right. So. <laughs> so anyway, that's that's the biggest deterrent on the Bolt for me and the looks. But yeah. I'm not a huge looks person. That's why I drive a town and country. That's why you like me. <laughs> not true. <laughs> okay, do you want... We've got a lot of comments we can get to. Mm -hmm. um, I see the Pittsburgh man has been working in the chat. Thank you. Cool. Uh, do you want to get around drive? What do you? What would you like to do? Let's do a quick walk around. Okay. Uh, we'll do a drive. Uh, I think the signal's pretty good right now, so I kind of want to ride that high. Um, we'll do a quick walk around for the people who haven't seen it yet. I know the front is in the... Sh Almost touching. It's touching on the outside. If you wanted to nap, though. You might nap. <laughs> and it's very upright. You can see Alyssa's sitting very proper, good posture. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so far, I'm comfortable. I don't That's know good. how I'd feel into a road trip, but. No, oh, you could do space, and I think there's just enough room for a rear facing car seat to be decent back That's here. Cool. Yeah. 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 Very simple back here. Very high up uh, window sills. Yeah, that'd be a problem. <laughs> okay. Let's do a quick frunk test as well. I don't think the bolt has a frunk. I think it's just hood. I think it's just electrical. It'd be really hard for me to really hop into that too. It's kind of high. Oh. Motor. There it is. Yep. Look at them big cables. Mm -hmm. Wow. A lot of current going through there. I'm wondering if iPhone heat was a bit of an issue because now look at that. Oh, okay, it cooled down. Mm -hmm. uh... I had it sitting in the uh, sitting in here, so I'm actually gonna take my case off. Maybe that'll help it. There you go. Cool. All right. All right. I'm gonna get to comments. Okay. Well, I'm gonna check the cash out. Neat. Yas agrees with your assessment on the LT being a better deal. He was considering getting that or seeing if he can get it under 30k and still keep the Tacoma. Ah, That'd yeah, be a call. cool combination, yeah. Thank you, Joey, by the way. You've earned yourself and all the viewers a donut. Or not donut, a burnout. A burnout, neat. Mm -hmm. Sweet, all right. That'll be fun. Hmm. For us, Charlie, it's been a long time. Oh, yes. Rodrigo says, and I'm hoping you can help me interpret this a little bit. Mm -hmm. What period of guarantee of car battery and etc.? I think he's talking about warranty. Ah. If I had to guess, I don't know right off the top of my head. I'm assuming GM has an eight-year 
100,000 mile battery warranty. And other than that, you just have your normal 36,000 mile, three year bumper to bumper, and then probably a 60 non and electric powertrain components. Neat. Yeah, uh, later on in the chat, the yeah, gas says exactly that. Eight years, 100K. Okay. Neat. Put my sunglasses down so I don't squint. Oh, hello. No, it's not, it's not like one of those electric vehicles that just, you know, yanks you. Yeah, maybe that's okay though. Maybe in sport mode it's a little more. Still a little bit It's not that different. <laughs> this is actually kind of weird. So maybe y'all can hear. There's a delay from when I actually press wow. the gas down, and it's about a second before the power actually comes on. Wow. That's kind of Also, you hear it. That's funny. Gas bell. It Maybe they do thing. that so that people... trigger friendly yeah. gas pedals but it's a one pedal driver whatever okay um yeah says i think multiple channels are fine okay it's i just sub to them all like how you said yeah fair enough thank you and then on that same vein pittsburgh man says i think i'd keep it all in the same place personally but that's me though okay i'll watch regardless if people wanted to see things separated that's why there are playlists fair enough okay yeah playlists are an option Right. Yeah, I mean, playlists, I do the playlists already. Okay. The one other thing I was kind of thinking is, and I know you're going through comments, so we'll get back to that. Yeah. But sometimes I think, I mean, we have a lot of content we want to be able to push out to all of you. Sometimes I think by pushing out daily, like, videos aren't given an opportunity to kind of sit and marinate within the algorithm. Uh. So, like, if a video gets a decent amount of views, then it might keep pushing it out to more people the next day and the next day. But if Daily Motor has a fresh video to push out, it decides to not push the one from the previous day that might have done well. So I think with three channels, you could have like a sound test that sits and marinates for a few days and collects some views. And then on the other channel, uh, fuel economy goes out. And so that's why I kind of want to play with it a little. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Because like on Winding Road, we push out a new video every day at 11 a.m. And the view count was like, did it, did it, did it. And then right at 11, it like, plateaus off. Okay. So I don't know if that would be different if we didn't publish a new video. I see. Okay. Okay, back to other comments. Yes. Let's see. Uh, Rodrigo is asking if you know the frequency of preventative maintenance of this car. For example, like every 5,000 miles or so. We can check the manual if we think to do that when we're stopped again. It's probably pretty reasonable. Something like every 10k rotate your tires yeah because evs don't have a whole ton of maintenance because no. they're far less components our tesla was like rotate the tires every 7500 miles and if you live in a cold climate lube up the brakes once a year and we did that's all for a year we rotated the tires a few times and that was it pretty cool <laughs> yeah i remember that being really neat um i'm gonna talk and say one more thing about that in a second but we're gonna whip over steer real fast what these eco-friendly tires can do. <laughs> I have never heard a car <laughs> do that before. Yeah. That was so funny. Bolt loves to squeal its tires. Screaming Bolt. Mm -hmm. She's a screamer. <laughs> the one other thing I did want to say is, what is it, Tesla maintenance? Oh yeah, and I'm finding that you know, you think to yourself, oh, we'll just get an oil change every 8,000 miles. It's not a big deal. We have to get our oil change now on our Maverick. And I, I'm remembering what a pain it is to, like, actually get it in, schedule something, and get it in to have it done. Because uh -huh. we've kept having to reschedule our appointment because we get busy. And then I have to check with Melissa, like, hey, is this a good time to bring the truck in? And, yeah, if we just wanted to use some, like, Joe's Quick Lube sort of place, we could just, uh, one sec. Jeez, that's amazing. <laughs> Uh, we, Alyssa could just swing it in and get it done, but if I want to take it to the Ford dealership, which I want to, at least for the first one, yeah. you got to schedule it and you got to make yeah. time to get it in there. Yeah. 
this is a reminder that we got to do super cruise too. Okay. Yep. We'll do a, we'll do a launch right here, and we're gonna do super cruise, and then we'll do another launch. Um, yeah, we actually have to do another launch. Oh, did we get another donor? We do. We've got a twenty dollar donation from Moran asking oh for two. Let's do burnouts. In one. Anything for you, Moran? <laughs> I'm glad you're in, Moran. I was gonna ask you. So quick side look at uh, the, the ash bus here. This is <laughs> this is where people do uh, illegal street racing. Yeah. And so you can see all the black marks on both sides. But we're gonna do one in the bolt. You wanna get out? No, we'll do that one afterward. Motor viewers confuse me. Eight people for a super sporty car, but 30 plus for a Chevy Bolt. We got 30 plus in here? Yeah. Wow. Three. 33. That's fun. Yeah. We also. They're like, what's going on? Yeah. All right. All right, now. <laughs> Sunjip says, this is a good car. It is a good car. You know what? It is. You're right, Sunjip. Sunjip, do you like uh, GM vehicles? Is that, is that what I'm picking up on? Possibly. <laughs> I'm going to let you out right here. In the shade. Yep, in the shade, because I care about you that much. Hopefully it doesn't smell like poop out there. Oh, because we're right by a... Waste treatment plant. A waste treatment plant. And I'm going to light them up lighting. and come back and get you. Neat. Okay, let me turn off. Hopefully things. our tires aren't too warm to uh, spin anymore. We'll see what happens. Oh, is this a double pull for it to unlock? Probably one to unlock, one to get out. I again. hate cars like oh, that. Car coming, let's go. Okay. That was like not even a launch, it was just taking off. Look at this guy. <laughs> I and me and everything, jeez. <laughs> That's the real show right there. Another car coming. That redneck was just eyeing me. Understandable. I don't know if it's because of the grippier surface or because we uh, heated up the top. But uh, no, this is a very boring launch. So we'll try we'll try another one on this uh, harder road here in a minute. I got that redneck really good on camera. Oh, nice. Hmm. The car is saying my driving technique is not beneficial to range. Can't imagine why. Huh. I would say that that's very beneficial. Couch, beneficial to range. Joey says a lot of spam in the chats today. Is there? Yeah, yeah. There's one of them named. I probably shouldn't be giving them uh, recognition. Okay. It's okay. We shall ignore them. We shall ignore them, but it's funny. Okay. The squeal. Haha, <laughs> the squeal. Alright, we're going to 
we'll try going right. We'll see what our signal's like this way. Okay. Uh, just missed the light. Oh, but we might. Oh, no. That's not a... No. Joey says, what a weird throttle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm having to backtrack on all the comments. Ah, uh, I see. Does it have wireless CarPlay? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, GM's good about that. They have pretty good tech. Perfect first date car. Can you open the sunroof? Yeah, uh, we can. I don't want to right now because we're about to get on the highway and demo Super Cruise. Okay. Super Cruise. We have to make sure that we don't hit that trash bag. Jeez. Could yeah. be a dead body in it. It could be. All right. Daily Motor does not condone dead bodies. Unless you work at a morgue. Well, I mean, there are some that just happen naturally, so you have to condone those ones. No. <laughs> Ludric Sprat says, hello. Hello. All the trolls. Yep. Holy boy, look at that infinity. <laughs> Gangster mobile. He's just like, what? Pittsburgh man is heading out. Say uh -huh. goodbye. Pittsburgh, we're just about to do Super Cruise, though. Oh, well. He's Have probably, a good date. He's probably already gone. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> All right, so here we go. We'll get to Alyssa's giggle comment here in a moment. Giggle uh, comment. I'm going to turn traction control back on, sport mode off. I got a, a white steering wheel telling me Super Cruise is an option. Oh, and now it's gone. There we go. Um, all right, so we have a green light here telling me that it is watching me. Super Cruise is enabled. No, right here. Oh. That's on the steering wheel. You oh. probably can't see it. It's red now because why did it disengage? Did I mess you up? I, I might have. have. Sorry. Sensor can't find lanes. Okay. Let's try this again. Super Cruise is re-engaged. And my cruise set to 75. And as long as I simply watch the road, you see there's a car in front of us right now. At any moment, Super Cruise should decide to merge to the left and get us past this vehicle. Although it's actually kind of going there's that semi right there. Yeah, we'll see what it feels like doing. Either way, my hands are not on the wheel. banning sprees for all the uh, spam that we were getting. Nice. And one <laughs> and he posted a angry like red hot emoji and it's cute. We were always asking what the profile of like the CX-5, slow adaptive cruise that takes years, like the RAV4. 
I'd rather have an aggressive one, but the best is to have an option like some of the new cars do. I can't think of one off the top of my head, but I think it's the Kia Hyundais that allow you to set how aggressive you want your uh, cruise control to be. Neat. Yes. Ooh, this is a good question. Okay. With the price cut, is this a vehicle, is this vehicle worth it? I'm looking to buy my first EV, the price looks good now. If you do not do a lot of long distance road trips, yes, it is a good choice, especially with the price cut. If you, I, th I think there are two reasons to not consider the Bolt. One, if you're eligible for the full $7,500 tax credit, you might want to consider some of the other options because they're technically going to be $7,500 cheaper to buy them. And also, if you do a lot of highway driving, uh, road trips like I was describing earlier, and you're going to need to be using DC fast charging, it's yeah. kind of pointless and bold. Interesting. But if you just do a lot of uh, city type commuting, and you want an electric vehicle for that, and you're maybe not that eligible, if you don't make $70,000 or whatever. Greg Hatfield says the bold, the bold, the bold. Only to lane, distance, and speed. T to change lanes, hit the turn signal manually to change over, and it'll engage once again. But you did that. I did that. Yeah. We'll check the preferences here, but how in the world can GM put it under the same marketing name as the one that does more? That's so confusing. Yeah. That That's like, kind of crazy. it should be Super Cruise and Super Cruise Plus or something like that. Why would they have two systems called Super Cruise, but they don't work the same? That is some GM BS right there. We're going to stop right here in a very safe spot. Where's my hazards? Thank you. Okay, over there. Uh, we're going to go preferences. Feature on a... Suck my... Oh, that's not anything good. Um, running applications. No, 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 no. Vehicle. Collision detection systems, maybe? Lane change alert, adaptive cruise go notifier. That's it. No. Okay, convenience, no. No. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, you can get to some comments. They're all being deleted because it's now yeah. being spam. Look at this. Yeesh. Who did we piss off? Doesn't matter. No. It was just a more theoretical question. Yeah. Well, interesting. We'll try the uh, manually pressing the, the signal stock again, the way that the Greg guy said. Hmm. Perhaps maybe? Yeah. Another commenter named Co uh, Copper just, con just uh, reiterated. Okay. Higher end cars have better super crews. That's lame. Yeah. It would have been really impressive, though, for... For this $43,000 car to have that high end of the Super Cruise. I mean, yeah, but, I mean, like, the Tesla can have essentially self-driving if you pay. I mean, I guess the Model Y starts at, like, 70 grand at this point. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of what I'm saying. It did. Yeah. Versus 43. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. I. It's just... It, I guess it should just be marketed differently, I guess. Because I would be very upset if I got a Bolt having driven some other sort of Super Cruise and being like, oh wow, it can do this thing, and then they're like, no. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. I was asking if it regens with the steering pedal. Yeah, there's a little uh, clicky click right up here. That's pretty cool. And if you have one pedal mode off right here and it's just coasting, you can pull this and it essentially stands on the brakes. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, that's full cool. region. Let's see what Beep, 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 beep. Wow, speed limited to 92. Wow. Why? This is full of uh, handicaps almost. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Is that a setting on here? It's possible. This would be a really good car for a teenager. 
Well, it's funny you say that because there is a specific menu called like Team Drivers. Oh, there team, it is. Team, team driver. driver. Yeah. Man. It pulls hard right up to 92. And then it pops up and says speed limit at 92. You can still do a lot of damage with that, but. Yeah, you can do a lot of damage at 30 if you play your cards right. <laughs> Interesting. A Day in the Life of Tim is asking if you've driven one of the uh, 2017 Mazdas with adaptive crews that actually have lane centering, which is really good, but then Mazda restricted it a lot. Really? I mean, I've driven them. I didn't know that that was a thing that they were uh, restricted. they're recovering. Okay. They saw a jack under it. Uh, the bolt we had? The bolt we had a couple years ago and it had that white interior. Yep. I was just asking actually if that was a bolt. Yep. Okay. <laughs> I got so distracted by so many other things. <laughs> Is that a panoramic sunroof I see? <laughs> kind of. Uh, yeah, sort of. It's like not the largest, but it's still there's like oh. to open. Yeah. And then we were about to get on the highway, so we didn't. A lot of panel roofs are fixed, but this one's kind of a mini panel and it's not fixed. Neat. Hmm. Can you notice a difference at all between the different tiers of bows? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because Bose has their performance series and then just like base bows status and uh base bows yeah we tested i tested the cx30 again today and i mean it was a tier it sounded excellent the 12 speaker bow system but then you get like we had um the chevy truck silverado bows and it was like eh. <laughs> that's so weird <laughs> Anyways, <coughs> did Moran weigh in on the uh, channel um, split at all? I'm curious. If uh, that might have been before he popped in. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I think that was. If, uh, opinions on about the split and daily motor and having the three channels for different purposes versus doing all in one. I feel like Moran's got good internet savviness. Business savviness business, too. Business yeah. savviness. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Videographer. Ah? Uh, hop out? Yep. Okay. What are we doing this time? I'm trying another burnout. Ah, good. I'll try to uh, employ the use of the parking brake if need be. <laughs> oh, the, the two... Uh. Are you ready? I am ready. Are you guys ready? That was some hesitation right there. He's going to redo it. <laughs> he 
He's so unsatisfied with it. I think we've heated the tires up too much. The way, tires are too warm? I think so. I think we got too much grip. That makes sense. Get, uh, lean the camera out the window and point it at the front tire. I'll, I'll spin it out as we get going. Um, okay. Can you see it? Can you see it? Hold on, let me put the phones away. There. Okay. Ready? really windy with the camera. All right. It does have auto uh, one touch down, but not one touch up. Well, I don't understand that. Why bother going through one touch down for all the windows if you're not going to do one touch up? One touch up, one touch down. Yeah. Hmm. Typical Chevy doing it halfway. All right, any last questions? Things you'd like to know or see on the Bolt DUV? Tell Bolt me. DUV? We do have a lot. Okay. Uh, SpongeBob is asking if you can make a poll for the next live drive. With like an option, I guess. I can. I can see which two cars we'll have next week and which you'd like to see. Cool. And A Day in the Life of Tim is asking if you think it's fair to compare a CX-5 Signature to a Lexus instead of a RAV4. Yes, but not holistically. Simply on interior materials and quality. The, the Lexus is still going to be quieter and more features. The Mazdas are a little lacking on features and they kind of put their price in having nice materials and, and a pretty design. Moran says, I think I should upgrade to air-powered band hammer. My regular band hammer doesn't work anymore. <laughs> yeah, they just keep coming back. And then, this is interesting, Topher Drives says, Hi Charlie, someone tell me some trollers. It's just, it just so, it doesn't sound right. Oops. And then it's asking <laughs> if someone is trolling him again. That's silly. Yeah, just silly. Sorry. Right. Uh, Moran says he's okay with the split channels. Okay. Excellent business move. Okay. Cool. Okay. What's it? Oh, and then this other person asked earlier on what in some major points spell out the difference between this car, EV, EUV Bolt, and a Tesla. If I had to summarize it, I would say the Bolt feels like a car that's powered by electricity. The Tesla feels like a futuristic car. Even if it were powered by gasoline, it still feels very futuristic. And mm -hmm. you can probably attest to that. A totally different experience. This, you kind of get in, you're like, oh, I'm in a Chevy. Mm -hmm. And then it's like, oh, it drives kind of smooth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Okay. NC Style suggests that maybe one touch up is dangerous. If one touch up is dangerous, then I don't want to be safe. Joey says, great to catch alive again. Been a hot minute, so I'm glad to be around. Thanks. Yeah, I'm glad you were too. We're going we're gonna to do better. I'm either going to solicit more Alyssa or more Topher and, and get a little more regular with them, even if they have to be kind of chill. Um, yeah. Helps that overall the signal seems to be okay from this one. It's only 720p, but I've spent hours like trying to experiment with different uh, hotspot setups and phone setups and everything, trying to get it to be consistent. Cool. Say hello to Joshua John. Hey, Joshua John. Glad you're tuning in right when we're done. Nice. Yeah, right. Yep. And Danilo is asking if you'll be the first to review a Cybertruck. That would be cool. I'm going to assume no. <laughs> be super cool, Moran, if you have an allocation or any way to get us in one quick. Um, I'm going to assume, assume not. Although we were the first, one of the very first to ever review a Hummer EV truck. So yeah, that was pretty crazy cool. Crazy things have happened. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Almost wrecked it. Mm, not not, not by your fault. Oh yeah, you're right. Someone almost crashing into us. Forgot about that. And caught it on camera. That yep. was neat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Everyone say happy birthday to Topher Drives. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Happy birthday, Chris. Sanjib said happy birthday to him. So I thought that was really sweet. 
That was neat. Yeah. Very nice. Happy birthday, Chris. Okay. We're all, uh, he says thanks. Thanks, Aww. DD. Cool. We're all caught up. Fun fact, this weekend, or, yeah, it was, it was, whenever it was, maybe it was late last week, we had a Tacoma TRD Pro. Um, yes, you might be interested to hear this. And I got it stuck, very stuck. And Alyssa came and saved the day with the Maverick. So our Ford Maverick pulled out a Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro. And we have it on video. Yeah. So that video will be going up in the next few weeks. Yep. Hopefully Toyota's not too upset about that one. I mean, facts. I don't know how you can get, get upset by that. Yep. Uh, but many people yeah. do yeah. regularly. Incoming angry Toyota boys. <laughs> NC Styles said, had a Model 3 for a rental last week. Best vehicle I've driven. Hmm. Felt like I was driving an iPhone. That's exactly how I would describe <laughs> Tesla. It's like iPhone is to Tesla mm -hmm. as whatever is this to whatever. Is this to is to I wouldn't you think that you think Android? The reason I say that is because what Tesla makes it literally so easy to do so much of their stuff as long as you play by their rules like mm -hmm. use superchargers and everything and like driving a Tesla is super easy whereas like a lot all the other brands are like Android you can have a Samsung Android you can have a Motorola you can have all these sort of things and they work with all sorts of different things so like the electric vehicles it's like you can use Electrify America charger you can use EVgo you can use you know uh... charge point all those things and so it's like the Wild West versus like one very specific path. Route 60 something. Route 66. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, for someone like, uh, again, yeah, like Alyssa, the, the iPhone of electric vehicles is super easy because like, oh, you pull up to the one charger that you can use with these cars to, you know, yeah. for the most part. Problem solved, I don't yeah, have Yeah, you literally just plug in the car and walk inside, like yeah. very easy. Yeah. Whereas like if she had a Chevy Bolt, she'd have to be like, okay, now, all right, for this sort of charging network, I gotta have this account set up, and then swipe the yeah. card, and this one's gonna cost different than that one, and this charging speed is different. It's just a lot. Yeah. Why? Yeah. They should all be unified. Yep. Yep. Very good, NC Styles. Good comparison. All right, cool. Uh, what video do you have scheduled for tomorrow? Cadillac CT4 infotainment demo. I quickly edited it uh, before the live drive because it's been a busy day. Very cool. Alrighty. We're caught up? Yeah. Did Moran talk, talk about the motorcycle at all? No. Hmm. He, was, he was very busy banning, busy a, lot banning. Of, busy banning okay. a lot of people. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Moran actually has an allocation for the Cybertruck. <laughs> I can figure something out for the first one for the review. That That's would be cool. that'd be gnarly, Moran. Yeah, cool. I would. I'd totally fly out and uh, and review the heck out of that. It'd be cool. Have yeah. dinner or something. Um, yeah. Let me know. Let me know what you're thinking with uh, old Gromboli as well too. Mm -hmm. I could have a V Strom and a Grom. I did and have Gromboli and Stromboli. That's really cute. Yeah. Now you're gonna have to get like vanity plates for those tiny, tiny motorcycles. Yeah. G R M. I don't think the motorcycle ones are even shorter, so we have to be like, like G M B O L I and then S M. Yeah. Some bully. Yeah. Or bully. Yeah. Or monkey, and then I won't be a bully anymore. Got it. Yep. Joy says, "Always thank. Oh, thanks as always for the great live. See everyone next time. You're welcome. Yeah. And thank you. You're welcome. I don't know if y'all noticed, but there's no ads on this one. Ooh. And been a while, so I uh, it didn't didn't make you guys watch ads. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everyone is saying thank you and see you later. Chris would like you to call him afterwards. Ah, would he? Yeah. Mm. And do you think battery swapping works? Who asked that? Joey. No, Joshua John. Uh, I mean, if they could figure it out, a way to hot swap them, that'd be cool. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Probably a lot going on. Ron sa says he missed the question. Oh, the question is just uh, any updates on your buddy's shop, if you guys got bikes back, if he got his bikes back, if he's going to replace it, if you're going to, uh, what your status is on replacing the Grom, building a new one, and if you got your new bike yet, the, um, the Panigale. Cool. Very good. All right, let's go do one more little walk around and wait for a few last responses and Next week, we will be in... Oh, hush. So loud.
trying to remember which cars we have next week. I just checked earlier, but uh, I don't think they're super exciting. I oh. think... Well, we might get some really good live drives out of that, though. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's, it's Sometimes it's the most boring cars that get the best live drive. No, that's true. Moran says they have not found the Gram yet. Okay. Yep. All right. Neat. Neat. Well, thank you all so much for watching, and we will see you next week. We are Charlie and Alyssa with Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. Did Moran respond again? <laughs>